You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for another maker set here. This is the Zombie Dance Party Cookie Kit. And makes 8 to 10 cookies, and you can see everything that's included here on the left. Sugar cookie mix, vanilla frosting mix, green color powder, red and black icing pens, the piping bag, and four zombie cutters. And when I did the uh, recent zombie brains, or actually the brain cupcakes, I thought, wow, I haven't used real tools in a long time. Everything I normally do is small stuff. This here is uh, what you will need. Four tablespoons room temperature butter, one egg. And for the frosting, four tablespoons room temperature butter, one cup powdered sugar, and one tablespoon milk. And then here is everything I need to do. Impress your guests with dancing zombie cookies, delicious sugar cookies, tinted green, in four fun poses, really, in four fun poses, really get the party started. A treat almost too good to be true. The best part is that they are easily baked and decorated by you. And I'm ready to go for it. Uh, so let me get everything out of the box of these zombie cookies. And we'll just take a look at all the parts. All right, so we're slowly getting ready to make some zombie cookies. But I like to review everything that comes in the box just to make sure, one, that I get it all. And two, you know what comes with it. So you see the red and the black icing. That's for decorating. You have a vanilla frosting packet. You have the green coloring. That goes with the actual cookie, so that's the mix for the cookies. There's a piping bag over here, and then your four cookie cutters. So I'll just hold up the shapes. I'm sure we'll see them a little bit later, because I'm going to need them. And they're pretty big, too, so these are not going to be small cookies. Remember, it makes eight cookies, so two of each shape seems about right. So we'll check those out more later when I'm ready to make the cookies. Now I'm ready to get started, so let me get the rest of the ingredients that I need, and I'll start the cookies. Time to make some zombie cookies. So I have everything I need here. I have my tools, my mix, four tablespoons of butter, one room temperature egg, my green powdery dye, and then some flour, which I'll need to roll out here. And they wanted you to grease a cookie sheet. Now I have a quarter sheet here, but I have some parchment paper on that, and that works just as good. So it says combine the cookie mix, Room temperature butter and eggs mix until well blended. So no hand mixer. This is done by hand. So here we go. All right. Combine cookie mix, room temperature butter, and eggs. That's been sitting till well blended. Gather dough into a ball. All right, we will do that. I forgot what it was like to use full-size tools. I mentioned that earlier. I'm used to using such tiny spoons and forks and mixing devices. It's okay if it falls out. That's just going to be scooped up later. And then you don't put the green dye in until you have this set to go. So it says mix until well blended. Gather dough into a ball and make a well in the center. Got some fall out there. Getting there. Starting to lump together really nice. So how have you been enjoying the Halloween series? Or how did you enjoy it? It's over now. I mean, today's the last day for it. So we thought we'd end on some zombies and other cool stuff. Did you see all the videos that have gone live? If you haven't, look in the description. You'll see a link to our Halloween playlist which should be pretty big I think we did about 36 videos all together this year the most ever all right I think that's pretty well blended now so form this into a ball so I'm going to be using my hands and yes my hands are washed and yes I'm not taking off my ring sometimes I leave it on usually I leave it on that in the ball. Don't need it yet. 
It says make a well in the center. Empty contents of green color powder pouch into well and use hands to knead color evenly into dough. Now place the dough on a flat surface. So I gotta do this first. I probably gonna get some green hands here. Look at all that. That looks cool though. Let me uh, zoom into that a little bit. That's neat. Nice bright green color. All right, so let's see if I can avoid my hands touching it right away. Try to give us a little more room so I'm not so in your faces there with my hands. Yeah, I'll probably have green fingers. slightly okay it's getting there I feel like it's getting there starting to be pretty even there's a few little striations in there so I'll do a little bit longer I don't want to spend too much time heating it up because the more I do this the more my hands will heat it up Okay, it's getting mushy, it's a nice color, get some flour down, lightly floured surface, okay, do both sides, turn into coat both sides, there we go, then roll out. Now it says 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. Let me move some things out of the way. Let's see if it sticks. I'm going to get a little bit more flour. I think I'm going to stick down here. Three sixteenths of an inch, huh? That's pretty thin. I wish I had a ruler. I would say that's probably a little too thick, yeah, a little bit less. Okay, now cut zombie shapes with included colors, gathering and re rolling dough. So you got to keep going. So let's pick our first one. We'll get a little flour on him just to kind of make sure. Okay, let me get them all in here. Looks like a crime scene, doesn't it? Just see if I can get the shapes to work nice here. There's two. I'm just kind of putting a little flour on these to see if I can keep them from sticking too much. There's three. Ooh, we're getting there. What I'm going to do is just do the four. I'm going to bake them because that's all my little pan will hold right now. But I'll get to the rest in a little bit. I just want to get these cut. Four. All right. Let's get this one out of here. This one. This one. And that one. There you go. So I could just take rid of, get rid of all this. I have my cookies. I didn't get anything flat to lift them with, so watch your head there, buddy. Actually, I probably should take out a zombie head, huh? That one didn't cut all the way. Oops. Sorry, buddy. All right, so I'm going to do a little cleanup, wash my hands, and move these to the pan and bake them and then I'll make the rest. All right, so I just had to clean up my hands a little. I got a little spatula here that I can 
used to transfer my zombie to the baking sheet or scraper, flat scraper. What I'll do is I'll get these in the oven. So I'll show you the baking on these, but probably not on the other ones. And then we're good to go. All right. All right, so these are going in the oven now. Okay, time to put the zombies in. 10 to 13 minutes, so I'll check them in about that time. We'll see what they look like. All right, so those are in the oven. It said I can reshape, then roll out again. I should get four more, right? What did it say, eight to 10? Eight to 10. I don't want to overwork it here. We will see. It will be close. Okay. Now I thought too, you know, why not I'll press a little harder, pull this one out. Do some fun stuff with my zombies. Here's another one. Just like that, that's what I was actually gonna do. So that's gonna work. Here's another one. Looks like I might be able to get the 10. I think I can get one more, but we'll not worry about that right now. So what was I thinking? I was thinking, why not, you know, make them look a little more beat up, you know, like missing a leg or two. So I'm going to actually just chop off a zombie leg, right? Zombie on one leg. And then he looks like he needs... Shorter arms. So there, zombie no arms. Okay, so there's four more. Get over there, buddy. Looks like I can make my tent. Look, look at everything that's left. Should we do it? All right, two more. I don't know if we can conjoin two zombies somehow. Let's try that. sticky yep stick into my table hold on a second there we go all right last two what could I do to these last two? I'm sure you would all have some excellent ideas out there, so let me just cut. See if I could squeeze them in. Maybe this guy. No. This guy? It's gonna be close. I'll just cut what I can. You're done. You're done. All right. I think I'm happy with that. And let's take these two and we'll join them at the hips. We'll put this leg over here. Okay, it'll be one strange big cookie. Hopefully it'll bake like that, like they're hanging out together. All right, so let me go check those ones in the oven. And then uh, when they're all baked, we'll come back check them out and do some decorating. So that's about 10 minutes. Now they said golden brown edges, so I'm not there yet. I'm leaving it in for a few more minutes and then it should be ready. So we'll check them out when they're done. All right, there you go. As you can see, his one little hand is brown around the edge there. So this batch is ready. So when they cool down, we'll start decorating. All right, I almost forgot. I can't decorate till I make the frosting. So it was four tablespoons of uh, butter. And it says, use an electric mixer to beat room temperature butter on high 
for one minute. So let's do that now. I hope you adjusted your headphones. Scrape that down a little bit. See if I can keep it all in this area here. All right. Just another 10, 20 seconds. Oh. I hope your ears are okay. say that's pretty good all right then what does it say let's see add frosting mix and powdered sugar so I'll do that next frosting mix okay and then Beat until combined. So I'm going to do on low here, but push it off to the side just in case. So it doesn't hit my camera lens. That's what I'm trying to avoid here. Smells like a nice vanilla. Going good. Once it's combined, then you add the milk. Kind of like the last frosting we did and that of course turns it into frosting so here we go I'll push it away from the lens there that turned real fast huh let me just clean off the edge here real quick I get all that powdered sugar in there. Nice. Tasty. All right. Mmm, sweet. Clean up some things and I'll come right back and now I'll start decorating. All cleaned up from the frosting, and I have to say the frosting tastes great. And here's my cookies. I have all of the non-traditional zombies here. Missing arms, missing arms, missing a leg. Here when I just put a cookie cutter in the plop of dough that was left. And then the two guys here that are joined. And here are the ones that are actually like the molds. Or the cookie cutters. So I forget to bring in one of my small spatulas here so I can get some frosting in the frosting bag. I'm going to leave some out too because I think I want to also just apply some where needed. And then all the tips. So the tips, I kind of work these in my hand just a little and I'll cut off those little ends. Okay. There's the black, there's the red, and now my white is ready to go. Let's cut off a little tip there. All right. So what do I want to do? Well, I'll probably just try one of the cookies first. Now, I had my example up there, so I'll kind of use that, but, you know, I'll probably go off track just a little here. So let's do a 
hang top on this guy here. So it'll come down like this. And this will be a shirt now. Okay. And while I have the white, I'll just do a few things. I'm going to give this guy some shorts. Hmm. Yes, shorts. Okay. I brought my little flat spatula so I could flatten that and smooth it out if I want. And this guy, or girl, I don't know. We'll give this one something different. How about a little pair of underwear? There you go. Or diaper, yeah. That's a zombie in a diaper. All right. That's looking really good. Now we will do this guy. I don't have to decorate them all, but while I'm here, let me just give him some pants all the way down to his shoes. Or his feet, whatever you want to call them. I think I'll fill that in in a different color. All right, so let's get some eyes on some of these. Some big eyes. He'll have one eye. And then two eyes here. Okay, they're starting to take shape, huh? Remember, it is a dance party. All right, so some of the white's done. I'm just trying to do it so I can keep the colors, you know. Not have to move around too much. There's my buddies here. He's... Resting on his shoulder. Oh, how nice. Don't they look happy together? They all have one big pair, one big diaper. I think I'm liking my diaper. Check that out. Now let's get a couple of these oddballs in here. How about the guy with no arms? We'll just give him a white shirt. Because he's got no sleeves. Alright. I'll leave those other ones. I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet. Let's get some red in here. Because red would be the blood. So he lost his arm here. And we want some red eyes, I think. Check that out. So we'll give him a red drippy eye like it's dripping down. <laughs> and some black. Look at a black. He's got a bloody eye. Yes, this is the one time of year where we can go a little off the beaten path of our normal videos because, you know, we don't normally do zombies. He's got one eye couple eyes for him. Alright, I think we're getting there. We're starting to add some detail. Let's color in his pants red. Now there's not a lot, so... He's got red pants. Hmm. Alright. And then let's just say we give this guy let's give some let's give someone some hair, huh? How about this guy here? Give him a nice bushy head of hair. Oh yeah, he's looking looking cool for the dance party, huh? Look at his mouth. He's happy. His nose. Check him out. See? Alright, black. Let's just give him a black spot on his pants here. You know, like he's got bullet holes. Those will be bullet holes. And then, uh, we didn't give this guy a shirt, so we'll do his in black. 
This way the red will really show up on him. Ooh, yeah. He's got a weird eyeball, so he needs just a bloody one there. Couple holes, drippies, drippy blood, huh? And his leg. Oh yeah, here we go. How's that looking? He's got his red shoes on. Alright, I think he's good. Diaper boy over there, he's happy. I mean, diaper dancing zombie. This guy here will give him a like a super cut down his stomach. Ooh, look at that. This guy, look at his eye. Let's give him, let's do a little more white on him. We'll just come down with a shirt to match his pants. Ooh, right over his eye. That's a thick shirt you got on there, buddy. Then we'll have to give him his nice drippy eye all the way down. How's that? Ooh. We'll give him a bloody toenail. How's that? Some bloody toenails. Alright, you're good. Let's move on to the next one. I think everybody would have fun with this, right? Wouldn't you have fun doing something like this and decorating? Or do you just like watching the video and seeing me try to do it? Because you don't like doing this kind of stuff. I don't know. Black pants. He's got his black pants. His black pants on. There you go. Let's give him some bloody kneecaps. Yeah, you got bloody kneecaps. Little globs of blood there. Oh, how gruesome. My cookies are looking gruesome. Little flesh wound. Flesh wound. All right, see? I'll show them to you all at the end one more time. What about these guys, the diaper buddies here? Let's, hmm, let's give them a big hole here. Like they're got a big hole in them. A little blood dripping out of there. All the way down their leg. Eek. And then another shot in the arm. Blood coming this way. Shh. Gruesome. And let's give him let's give him a bow tie, huh? With a not in the center there. He's got a bow tie. Now isn't he looking quite handsome? Alright, so this guy here, let's see. Remember, he's lost his arm, so he's armless. And then let's just give him a nice bloody leg here. And the red just coming down. Look at that. All right, a few more. Let me uh, take a quick break here. I'm going to come right back. All right, I just needed to uh, take a quick break there. It's actually still pretty warm where we're at here. Okay, so these. This here, I wasn't sure what to do with this. I was just thinking, you know, let's just say he was killed. He's just laying on the ground. So this was the ground. And then let me just pipe his silhouette out. How's that? Like it's chalk. It's the chalk line. That's cool. And there's just some stuff around him. Dirt, debris in the area. How about a footprint? Yes, there was a footprint seen at the scene of the crime.
and a weapon. There's my weapon. And now, some blood. I'm going to just hold it up here and just... Like, everything... Look at that gruesome scene. There, that's what I was going for with that one. And then... I think I want to eat a leg. I'm going to eat this leg. I'm getting hungry now. So I'm going to pipe on some coloring and we'll just take a look at how soft or crunchy they are. Let me show you the bottom of this one. So it's got a little brownness to it. So I'm going to bite this one. It's still soft, but yeah, crunchy. So it's got a nice taste to it. I like the vanilla. Oh, look at him. Half a body now. Look, he was cut in half. Ooh, brutal. So brutal. Right where I bit him. All right. Well, I think I did okay there. Last guy. And then I'll just give you a nice picture of each one. How's that? He's got a cutoff shirt. Do you remember cutoff shirts? Do they still wear cutoff shirts? He's got a nice pair of slacks. Does anybody use the word slacks anymore? So his belly's hanging out, so we need to give him a belly button. There you go, buddy. There's your belly button. And here's your bullet wound right in your belly button tripping down your leg and I think you need some eyes you're not done till you get your eyeballs there you go all right I would say that was pretty fun oh wait he lost an eyeball there you go I guess it doesn't hurt to just give him a little bit of blood dripping down so there there is my zombie dance party i'm gonna clean up my tabletop i still have a bunch of things here and then i'll show you each cookie all right here we go zombie number one has the bloody toenails a couple bullet holes a drippy eye study that one let me move on to the next one here so this was the conjoined Diaper boys, diaper zombie boys, couple bullet holes, and a bow tie. I guess I'm wondering which one you like the best, so we'll see here. This was belly shirt with slacks and a drippy belly button. All right, this one here, he looks happy. You know, he's got his red pants on. He's got a little slash in his side. No mouth, no nose. I didn't give anybody mouths. Oh, I did one person. All right, so that's that one. Here's the one I bit. He's the half body. Look at that. And then this one here. This was the bullet hole armless zombie dancer. A few more, a few more. This one here. I forgot about that one. That's something wrong with his knee. He got bloody kneecaps. Yeah, he got a tank top. He also has a tank top on. This one here has one red eye, little blood on his diaper. He's the diaper dancing zombie. And the last one was the biggest one. This was my zombie crime scene. So now you have seen them all as a group and then individually. I'll leave it at that there. So again, you know, happy Halloween for this season. Hope you enjoyed all the videos. We'll have a link in the description with a playlist or you could always just Search our channel, and don't forget to tell me which zombie is your favorite. And thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. It is really appreciated. Later!
for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.